I had the pleasure of presenting the results of linvaseltamab at 200 mg dose at AACR on behalf of my co-investigators from multi-institutions. Linvaseltamab is a fully human CD3 BCMA bispecific antibody. The patients who were entered on the study were triple class refractory, had three or more prior lines of uh, therapy, and the patients had been exposed to immunomodulatory molecule proteasome inhibitor as well as anti-CD38 monoclonal antibody. The median age of patient was 70 years. A quarter of the patients were over the age of 75. 17% of the patients were African-American. Many of the patients had high-risk genetics. Over 60% of the patients had prior autotransplantation. 100% of the patients were triple class exposed and 82% of the patients were actually triple class refractory. In this highly refractory patient population, linvisidumab showed a high response rate of 71% overall response rate and complete response rate of 46%. This was indeed remarkable achievement for this molecule. The major side effect is, was seen as is common for bispecific antibody that was CRS, ICANS, and hematologic toxicity such as neutropenia and anemia, as well as infections. Now, the CRS was actually mild. Majority of the CRS was grade one. There was 10% grade two, and only one patient had grade three CRS. The patients for the CRS were managed with tocilizumab and steroids as indicated in their management. So it was very well tolerated. As far as the infection was concerned, yes, there was a high incidence of infection. Any grade, 73%, grade 3, 4 in almost 36% of the patient. But we noticed that the patients were given prophylactic Bactrim to avoid PCP as the study was going on. And also 52% of the patient got IVIG. Moreover, because of the unique study design, we noticed that the infections were more common during the first six months. But subsequently, because the patient transitioned to once every four months treatment, there was a dramatic reduction in the infection, such that grade three, four infection rate dropped from 20% range to 5% range after six months. All in all, this is a very effective therapy for relapse and refractory multiple myeloma.